Now, the CBS 21 Political Insiders with Rob Hanrahan. And welcome back. We're joined now by our political insiders, Republican strategist Charlie Giroux, and we have Democratic strategist Joe Powers in for Mark Single. And uh, let's talk about the Kavanaugh confirmation process. Um, it's been delayed right now. We're uh, expecting testimony from uh, Christina Blasey Ford, who accuses him of assaulting her in high school back in the 1980s in an incident. So, Joe, let me ask you. Uh, there's been some talk today that she may not actually show up for this hearing on Monday. And if she doesn't, where does it go from there? I don't think anybody knows right at the moment. Uh, we're not sure if she will be there. If she's there, we're not sure if it will be a public hearing uh, or it will be held in secret. Uh, we have no idea what's going on right at the moment, and I think a lot of people in Washington are very anxious to find out. Charlie, your take on how late this came out and the fact that now, like Joe was saying, things are all sort of up in the air when this thing was on well, the they fast are. rails. <clears throat> and if she doesn't show up to testify, my counsel to Judge Kavanaugh would be, don't you do it either. I mean, one of the principal bedrock foundational elements of our system is that you have the right to confront your accuser. And certainly, given the magnitude or potential magnitude of what's going on here, he has that right. It is incredibly disturbing that this was kept by the Democrats, by Dianne Feinstein in particular, under wraps until the 11th and a half, really the 12th hour, in what appears to be, and I'll underline appears because we still don't know all the facts, but what appears to be a really last ditch, desperate try to delay things because the Democrats believe that they can delay the confirmation, that they can somehow sidetrack the nomination. Jill, Feinstein's argument with that is that the letter was at first anonymous and she was asked not to reveal who the source may be. And I think she's probably correct in that. I don't think this was some kind of scheme that was uh, put in place by the Democrats to wait for the last minute. Uh, I don't think anybody knows for sure. Nobody knows for sure how the information actually got out. Uh, but I, I think, uh, for all the senators, I think they should treat both of these individuals with respect. Uh, they both, I hope, will have a case, have an opportunity to make their case. And I hope we have hearings that are much better conducted than the ones in 1991 and, uh, with Anita Hill. Oh, the president is saying the same thing, Charlie, but treat them both with respect. Um, what about the argument that Feinstein could have brought this up in a judicial committee meeting in she private could have. without and Judge the problem, there? The problem with all the high-minded talk now, Rob, is that she could certainly have asked the FBI to investigate this with absolute protection of the anonymity of the accuser at that point. There was ample opportunity for, to, for her to do that. Judge Kavanaugh, incidentally, has been through six FBI background checks. I've been through a couple myself. Yeah, they are pretty extensive. Yeah. They put the microscope pretty far mm -hmm. up if you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. So the fact that nothing, nothing has ever come out that would even suggest that this is an element of his character or a pattern of behavior on his part, I think speaks volumes. And look, we were all in high school around the same time. If something like this had actually occurred, I am pretty certain that there would be corroborating witnesses. And right now, none have come forward. We'll see where this goes, but Joe, do you see uh, the confirmation happening? It's too early to say. I'd really uh, ask me that question another week when we okay. find out what happens with the hearing and if it does happen, how it goes. Right here next Tuesday. How about you, Charlie? Well, I'm kind of with Joe on this because, you know, you don't want to leave with your chin. I believe that Judge Kavanaugh will still be confirmed because he deserves to be, but barring something unforeseen, and that's still a real possibility, I say <laughs> seems to be a, he goes through. A daily thing that we have unforeseen <laughs> things, Charlie. Thank you very much, Joe. Thanks. The debate be uh, between our political insiders continues Sunday mornings at 8.30 on CBS 21's Face the State.